Hey guys, it's Sarah Jane. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am here with a box of stories unboxing. So I was very kindly sent this box from a box of stories and I'm really excited to unbox it because I really, really like the idea behind this company. I am very excited to unbox this because I really don't have a clue what's in here because a box of stories is a book box subscription with a difference because they actually aim at saving books that would otherwise be destroyed. So many books are actually destroyed every year. I was really surprised when they told me that it was like 70 million or something and I was just kind of blown away by that because you don't really think about books getting destroyed and of course they do and you know a it's wasteful but b it's disappointing for like the readers for the authors for the people who could have potentially discovered that story but they never heard about it so this is a book box with a difference it's not about the bestsellers it's not about the hyped up recent releases or like special editions sprayed pages nothing like that this is four books that may have otherwise been destroyed that are basically getting a bit of a second chance so i am going to undo this box I'm using a craft scalpel because I don't have any scissors in this room and I'm lazy. One aspect that I really liked about A Box of Stories was that you do still get to pick your genre, so you're not just saving like a random four books, you can still pick within your preferred genre. Now I was kind of tempted to gamble on a different genre but in the end I did pick sci-fi and fantasy especially because I'm not much of a sci-fi reader and it was specifically sci-fi and fantasy so I was like well we know I like fantasy, sci-fi is a bit unsure so let's see what's in there and hopefully I will find some new books to love. It does go without saying that there's quite a big chance that you might not like all four books but I feel like this is a good thing to still do anyway because you can then pass them on to people that like you think would like them. So enough talk let's just get in there. Oh have I not opened it? Oh I have. Do, do, do. Inside the pamphlet it talks about how often you can get the boxes, you can swap boxes, you can pause, you can choose your own frequency, that sort of thing. Because it's not your typical subscription box where it's like a theme for the month, you can choose how often you get this. Or you could just get it as like a gift for somebody etc. So it's quite flexible which I really like. Let's have a look at my books. So the first one is Steven Erickson Rejoice A Knife To The Heart. Never heard of this before. Okay, so on the back it says, an alien AI has been sent to our solar system as representative of three advanced species. Its mission is to save the Earth's ecosystem and the biggest threat to that is humanity. Ain't that the truth? But if we are also part of the system, the AI has to make a choice. Should it save mankind or wipe it out? The AI is all powerful and sets up some conditions. Violence and large scale destruction of natural resources are now impossible. Food and water will be provided for those who need them. The old way of doing things is gone and can we adapt and what will be the cost? If anyone is watching this right now who knows me personally, they will know the two words that are in my head right now. Mass Effect. I am a huge, huge fan of the Mass Effect games. Like they are literally like my favourite games of all time. I'm recently uh, playing like the remastered Legendary Edition. I've just finished Mass Effect 2. This is very, very similar to the themes explored in that video game. There's AIs, there's, you know, different races trying to take over the galaxy. I don't want to spoil for people that haven't played the games, but this is very, very in theme with Mass Effect. So I'm definitely intrigued by this. The next one that we have is The Heart of the Circle. That looks like quite a cool cover. Okay, this is it's a fascinating and original urban fantasy, so I'm intrigued. Sorcerers live and work among us, but in a time of fear and segregation, they have become exploited and mistrusted. Life is hard enough to navigate before the sons of Simeon. A new group of religious extremists start targeting and murdering them to spread their message. After a march for equal rights ends in one such murder, psychics divine that read cats, empath, moodifier and exceptional waiter will be their next target. Scared, confused and having just fallen hopelessly in love, Reed is not willing to give in to the terrorists. As the battle for survival grows ever more personal, can he protect himself and his friends as the sons of Simeon close in around them? After that it says, a bold new voice in Israeli fantasy, an enchanting debut. Okay, so this one has intrigued me. I never ever again would have picked this one up, but I do like urban fantasy. I do like stories about magic and sorcerers and things like that. I'm not a huge fan of books that focus on like religious extremism because I'm not some but that's 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 not my bag that's not my cup of tea however i'm definitely intrigued by the fact that it says a bold new voice in israeli fantasy um 
because that adds some more diversity to the urban fantasy genre. So again, not one that I would have picked up, but interesting. The next one in the box is The Imaginary Corpse. In a world where Toy Story meets Sin City, a dinosaur detective battles his own trauma and a remorseless serial killer hellbent on shaking up an already messed up town. Tippy the Triceratops was once someone's best friend, a sunshine yellow toy detective imagined to help make sense of the world, but inescapable tragedy forced Tippy to be set aside, still loved, still real, but now abandoned. So he found a home in the underbelly of the imagination, a place called the Still Real. But friends keep disappearing here and Tippy is left chasing a mysterious figure who can do the impossible, kill an idea permanently. With fear and anxiety already ripe on the streets of Playtime Town, Tippy must face his, own, face his own demons before all that's left is imaginary corpses. Apparently I couldn't speak for that last sentence. I'm going to put it out there, this is not going to be a book that I would really, I think, be interested in. It sounds very niche, it sounds very clever, and I feel like if you're the kind of person who hears about this book and goes, wow, that sounds really interesting, you're probably going to love it because it is so unique and the world needs more unique books instead of just kind of churning out the same idea over and over again. With that being said, I don't think this is really for me, um, but I may be able to find it at home. I have, I have, a, few, I have a few options. And the final book is, I'm just putting this box on the floor. Ah, okay, this one is called There Before the Chaos, and I've just seen it at the top, Kick-Ass Space Opera with a Heart. Hail Bristol, former runaway princess, interplanetary gunrunner, empress of Indrana. When the Empire's closest ally asks Hail to intervene in a galactic military crisis, she embarks on the highest stakes diplomatic mission Indrana has ever faced. Caught between two powerful alien civilizations at each other's throats, Hale has one chance to make peace before all of humanity becomes collateral damage in a full-blown galactic war. Okay, this sounds really good. <laughs> Again, this has a little bit like Mass Effect vibes, like space opera, main female character, military crisis, like this, this also has some Mass Effect vibes. I have to say what intrigues me the most about this book is the stuff that's on the back and it says like kick butt women, space battles, complex relationships, a vivid space opera that doesn't pull any punches, twisty and clever, full of political mover, maneuvers, space action, genuine feeling. Like this, th this one is the one I'm most excited about. This one I'm very intrigued by. Like this is a book that if I saw it I would pick up like if I was in a bookshop whether that's um like a typical bookshop like Waterstones etc or if I was in a charity shop no matter where I was I I would buy this so that's it for my unboxing let me know in the comments what book intrigues you the most I have to say the last one that I picked up is definitely the one that like intrigues me by far the most I really really want to read that in fact I've got so many books on my TBR here that I haven't read but because I'm in a Mass Effect mindset, I just really, I really want to read that one. So that's it for my unboxing. Thank you so much to A Box of Stories for sending me the box. I really enjoyed opening that. And if you're considering having your own little surprise, A Box of Stories, show up and see what's inside. I do have a affiliate code um, discount code thing which is in the description box down below. Let me know if you've ever had a box of stories before, if you liked what you've got. Let me know if you're considering doing it. Let me know if you do get one using my discount code, etc let me know which one you're most excited about because i'm very interested to know like out of those four books which one would you take a gamble on and read if you hadn't heard about them thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all again soon bye <laughs>